Science involves the process of inquiry, asking questions, running tests and experiments, and making observations. There are two main types of observations that can be made, qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative observations involve a description of a characteristic or quality that does not involve any sort of measurement. For instance, the solution in this flask is a deep pink. The description of the solution shade or color does not involve a measurement. It refers simply to the presence of a particular characteristic or quality. Quantitative observations involve a measurement of some sort. Sometimes measurements are exact, meaning there is no uncertainty as to the true value. For instance, there are exactly five test tubes in the test tube rack. There is no uncertainty as to how many test tubes are present in the rack. Other times, uncertainty as to the exact value of a measurement may exist due to the nature of the instrument we are using. The block appears to have a mass of 96.38 grams, but is it really, or is it somewhere between 96.375 and 96.384 grams? Oftentimes, seeing a number in an observation might make us immediately think it is a quantitative measurement. But how about this one? There is a 12 on the clock. The mention of the tw number 12 in this case is not indicating a measurement, merely the presence of the number 12 on the face of the clock. So this would be a qualitative observation. Qualitative and quantitative observations both play an important role in the study of science. But in chemistry, where we study the interaction of matter and energy, our focus is often in understanding the quantitative relationships that exist with matter, with energy, and with each other.